All right. As uh, my my longtime listeners know, I've uh, an affinity for film and books and pop culture and whatnot. And I try to bring it into the programs here. We kind of use them as examples and whatnot. Um, however, you know, um, I'm, I'm here to tell you, I, I haven't been to the movies. The last movie I went to was, was it last summer? Last summer, was it uh, Top Gun Maverick? Haven't been back. Haven't been back to the movie theaters. And I know that they're adding all sorts of amenities. You can get wine and beer and food and whatnot. And still, still, I you, you can't drag me back in. I mean, it's going to, I think, you know, the Oppenheimer movie, I, I you know, I, I, I won't be able, I won't be able to wait for that one. I, I think I'm going to have to go see that one. And I'm kind of the same way when, when James Bond films come out as well. But there was a story today just talking about the legacy media companies and how awful 2023 has been. I, I, I laughed. You had the, the idiots over at Warner Brothers and the, the folks that run DC Comics. The Flash is the greatest superhero movie of all time. Yeah. Did you, did you see the box office this week? Tanked. I want to come in third or fourth in its second weekend. Wasn't that good. Wasn't that good. Anyway, um, again, you want to talk about their streaming services, the streaming wars. Again, got Netflix, Disney, Warner Brothers, Discovery, Paramount Global. Uh, Netflix has done a good job uh, in regards to uh, dealing with all of the illegal uh, users of its platform. I have no problem with that at all. What they're doing, I think it's great. Um, again, they're, they're doing fairly well. Netflix stock has, has done okay. But uh, you take a look at Disney, okay? Um, they laid off people. Um, their CFO just stepped down. The company's having to pull programming from its uh, services. It can't make anything decent anymore. And again, it's because they're stupid. They're stupid. They, they, they pander, they pander to the minority opinions of people in this country. You want to call it the, the woke mob, whatever it may be. It is what it is. They pander to that and they continue to get punched in the face with one bad movie after another, yet they keep making them. There, there, there is, again, I'll, I'll sub-reference, like I always like to do, The Simpsons episode way back when Lisa Simpson is doing a science experiment, and her science experiment is a, I think it's a hamster smarter than my brother. And she hooked electrodes up to a cupcake, and the, the mouse would go to, the, excuse me, the hamster would go eat the cupcake, get zapped, and not do it again. Yet her brother kept trying to take the cupcake, even though he kept getting zapped by it. Uh, yeah, this is how dumb they are. Who, I, I just want to know who in the world thought the concept of Elemental was going to be a big winner. Who? Who? And how do these people have jobs? And it's, it's extraordinary to me. Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery laying off more employees. They've already cut thousands of jobs. Um, they just fired Chris Licht. From CNN, they didn't like his interview that he did there. What was it in the Atlantic or Vanity Fair? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But again, CNN is an absolute disaster also. Um, again, uh, <laughs> Zaslav actually had an emergency call with uh, Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, and Paul Thomas Anderson to convey his commitment to classic movies as he lays off employees at uh, TCM. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think about this too. And, you know, the funny thing is, is that, you know, I have, I subscribe to some of these services. I do. Um, I keep going. I keep going back to the same things. I, can, can you give me something new and interesting? I mean, you guys, that void of ideas. I mean, and, and again, you're not thinking. Well, you know, I, I just watched. Again, they, they told you, I had to see it on the big screen. I'm sure it's better at the big screen. I'm sure this movie's going to be awesome. I was, I'm talking about, uh, what was it, the new Avatar, Way of Water. 
oh man, I, you know, with the, the sound systems and the screen, the freaking movie's three hours and 20 minutes long. Three hours and 20 minutes long. Now, for someone like myself that's kind of like OCD when it comes to movies, a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm obsessive, I, I've got to see the entire thing. I do. It's the, I, I, for whatever reason, I got like photographic memories. I don't like to miss anything. I can't sit for three hours and 20 minutes, man. I'm 52 years old. I got to take a leak. I, I don't want to have to go on a, a you know, a, a, a no water diet, you know, uh, for the you know, 12 hours before I go to see a movie. I want to sit back. I want to have my Diet Coke if they're serving wine or beer. Maybe I'd like to have one. I don't know. You might want to throw an admission in there, uh, you know, intermission some point in time. They do it. Broadway shows. You guys can't do it in a three-hour, 20-minute movie? Cut us some slack? So I don't go. I don't go. I uh, just watched it. Just watch it while, you know, I multitask. I'm on, I'm on a treadmill. <laughs> Most of the, so I wait for it to come out, and, you know, on one of the, the services, and I watch it then and I'm, while I'm working out. It's, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going back to, to the older stuff now. Yeah, I'm, yeah, rewatch. I'm on one of my Rocky, you know, tell you, Rocky too. while I'm on the treadmill. I just haven't seen it in, in maybe in a long period of time. But there's nothing out there. That nothing, gra- I mean, there's nothing. And I, I talk to people all the time about this. Nothing really grabbing our attention. There's a show or two. There's a show or two. And, you know, you almost like you share it with your friends when you find one. I happen to like this one on Hulu called The Bear because it's about the restaurant business, which I love. But, it, you know, it, oh, yeah, did you get that? That's the one because you got all of this crap. You've got to wade through mountains of trip to try to find something halfway decent. And, and you know, you, you, you see that what, what, these people are getting paid in the production. I'm like, you can't do better than this. Uh, I, again, I, it's uh, you take a look at the business model in of itself. Okay. And I, I can go back, you can go back. You, I, I, let's look at the U S postal service as a business. When email was first coming around with America online, you got mail, you got mail. Um, someone, the postal service should have known which, you know, the tide's changing here. W- which direction is this going to go? I remember actually some of the, the, the Wizards of Smart were actually considering back then and actually, you know, charging for email because they didn't want to hurt the, the post office. I'm like, uh-uh. I said that, you know, that if Pandora's box has been open. Same thing. You start giving away free content, newspapers. We're going to give our content for free. Again, um, some have turned back. Now I have to pay for certain publications, and even those. I mean, the the, the freaking Wall Street Journal. I, I mean, I'm I'm so aggravated with all of the advertisements that are on the Wall Street that are popping up in my face all the time. And, and again, to all of you people that are advertising in that manner, um, I, I would be a potential customer for maybe some of the stuff that you're selling. But you freaking aggravate me. You piss me off. So I'm not going to buy your shit. Okay, annoying people is probably not a a good way to get people to buy your stuff. Just saying. Now, you've got all of these services out there. But all these services out there, no commercials. Commercial free, which I purchase. I I pay the extra. I'd rather not watch the commercials. Um, Again, how how do... uh, I've talked about this before. How, How does... How does Mercedes-Benz advertise? What are their options now as far as television is concerned? They're not going to advertise on these, you know, commercial streamers, commercial free streamers. They can't. Oh, yeah, but we have our model. We have our model where we have commercials. Okay. Um, Do you think that those are going to be the people that are going to be buying Mercedes-Benz's? Probably not. So sports is the, the option there and that's why again um they're trying to a lot of these networks are trying to figure out the streamers trying to figure out their way via sports you know apple buying major league soccer as that continues to increase 
and popularity. That's that's going to be basically the only way to do it. That's the, the power of the NFL at this point in time. But um, again, they've got they've got issues, and you know they talk about consolidation in banking. I think you might even see more consolidation here. But again, their interfaces that they use. I've got Max's service. They just went from HBO Max. Now it's just Max. It's still a pain in the butt to navigate. They haven't figured it out yet. They haven't. You got you got to wade through. I mean, we thought it was bad when we had cable and you know, click, 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 click. Yeah, it's, it's, you're ba- we're basically back at square one. It's the same thing. We're click, 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 except there's more bull crap that you have to click through. Anyway, not, not a good model. Not a good model these guys came up with by any stretch. Anyway, watchdog on wallstreet.com.